Okay, so there is a Canva AI side hustle where people are earning over $1,180 per day. And seriously, no exaggeration, when I saw how much money people were making doing this, it truly blew my mind. Yep, so here is how people are earning money. First, they come to ChatGPT and ask it to generate funny candle stickers. Then they come to Canva and choose a pre-installed Canva sticker template and customize it with their AI generated one. And then they upload them onto candles to sell using Printify, which are actually really great quality candles. And I know this because as I'll show you, I boarded samples of them and actually tested them myself. Then after that, they listen for sale for a markup price on websites like eBay or Etsy, where people are earning over $1,000 per day selling candles and Amazon where candles can make even even more money, like this one, which has sold over 10,000 candles in just one month. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting way to make money. And it's actually a side hustle I recently discussed on this channel. And well, after posting this, I had lots of people request a full step-by-step -step tutorial. So here it is. However, I have a very important warning and disclaimer. Some, not all, but definitely some of the candles that you will see in this video contain rude or shall we say, controversial jokes. But, well, if you don't mind a bit of controversy, then we will just jump straight into it. <laughs> and we'll start with step one. Pick a low competition niche to make money with. Yes, so let me show you something, right? If we come to Etsy and we do a search for funny candles, you'll see that most of the funny candle gifts aren't generic. Instead, they are themed around particular niche customers. For example, take this candle. I showcased it in a recent video. As you can see, it sold 50 candles in just 24 hours. Which, if we do the math, means that we can estimate it made over $749 in just a single day which is pretty cool. And well, if we take a closer look at it, you'll see it's aimed at a particular niche customer, best friends. Yes, people buy this as a gift, specifically to give to their best friend. And take this candle I showcased earlier, aimed at a different niche market of mothers. You can see that in the past 24 hours, it sold 63 candles, which if we do the math then, means that we can estimate it made over $1,180 in just one day, which is pretty amazing. But it gets even crazier because if we instead come over to Amazon and do a search for funny candles, we can find even more niche ideas that can help inspire us. For example, take this candle aimed at the niche market of internet memes. Over the past month, this listing has sold over 10,000 candles, which is absolutely insane because that means we can estimate that this candle made over $189,000 in the past month, which is just bonkers. So yeah, do you see why I said that this genuinely blew my mind? I wasn't just exaggerating that for the purposes of the intro. So yes, I think that when it comes to selling candles, that it's a good idea to think about a niche customer that you'd like to create a design to focus on. Now, of course, whatever you pick is entirely up to you. But for me, as I've explained in videos like these on this channel, I sell niche print on demand products myself. And I personally have a very particular strategy I use for choosing mine. I look for this, gaps in the market, which is when customers want a product, but either it doesn't exist or not a lot of options exist for it. And so let me show you an example. Candles that are sold as gifts for sports fans can be a moderate yet consistent seller. Take this pickleball candle here on Etsy. It's sold two candles today. However, pickleball is not what I would necessarily call a low competition niche, because if we do a search on Etsy for pickleball candles, you'll see that there are lots of print on demand candles to choose from which have already been uploaded so that makes it harder to stand out in the niche whereas if we instead come and do a search for handball candles you'll see that out of the results only five items on here are actually candles for handball players and so because there are no other candles Etsy has had to fill the results with random gifts for handball players which is kind of crazy because handball is a moderately popular sport over 30 million people are officially registered players yet as you can see, because everyone is fighting over bigger sports like pickleball, they are neglecting this one. And so not only do I personally find it much easier to stand out in low competition print on demand niches, but as I will explain later, it makes it much easier in my experience to get traffic to your listing. But yes, after that, we can then move on to step two, using ChatGPT to generate your candle stickers. Yes, so honestly, for this step, you can use any AI chatbot that you like. So if you prefer using Google Gemini or Microsoft Copilot, that is fine. You can use those instead. But for me, I personally prefer using ChatGPT. So that's what I will be using for this video. 
And there are two different ways that you can use it to generate candle stickers for you. The first is to tell it what you want it to be about, the mood of the sticker, which for us is going to be dark humor, and roughly how long you want it to be. For us, it is a short sentence. And then tell it that you want it to be humor that is related to both candles and your niche and see what it creates for you. You can then take any of these sticker ideas that you like and ask it to create variations of these for you. So for me, I liked the idea behind one of these, but I thought it would be better as a gift if it was instead focused on making fun of the opposition. So I asked ChatGPT to make new variations of it with that focus instead. And of course, you can keep doing this, taking ideas it creates for you, and then getting it to make more variations until you find an idea that you like. So that's one way. The second way is to find a product that is selling well and use that as inspiration, such as this book themed candle here on Amazon that is a moderate seller. It's had over 100 sales in the past month. Then you come back to ChatGPT and tell it to use that candle sticker as inspiration, but to instead use your chosen niche instead. And now this time it'll make a joke in the same style as the candle that we know is already popular with customers, but aimed at our particular niche customer. And of course, if you like any of its answers, you can go and ask ChatGPT to make new variations of it to choose from and ask it to add in any tweaks that you like. So for me, I liked the idea of the seven meter throw, which is a penalty shot and handball, but it was a bit too long. So I asked for some variations that would shorten it to be half to two thirds of the sentence length, which ChatGPT did do very well. So then, once you've come up with your AI generated sticker, we can now move on to step three. We will now choose which candle to sell. Yes, so here's the thing, right? As I said at the start of this video, I ordered actual physical samples of print on demand candles a few months ago from my favorite Printify candle print shop, Printed Mint. And well, as you can see, they come in different shapes, variations, and sizes. For example, this candle is a frosted glass candle. And this candle is an amber jar candle, which is probably the most popular overall candle on Etsy, I think. But yes, because they all come in different shapes and sizes, before we can turn our AI candle sticker into a design using Canva, we need to know what size the candle will be so that we can figure out how big to make the sticker. So to do that, come to this website my subscribers already know about, Printify. Printify is a print on demand website and app. Here's how it works. First, you go through the catalog of blank products and select a product that you would like to sell, such as a candle. Then you upload your design onto it, and then you list it for sale in your store for a market price. And then each time a customer comes and buys it, Printify's app sees their order. They'll charge you the discounted candle cost. Then their print shop will print your label and make your candle. And they'll ship it out to the customer and send them a shipping email with the tracking code while you get to keep the difference as profit. This process is of course called print on demand. And as my subscribers know, it is currently my personal favorite way to sell products online because you only pay for products after the customer has bought them from you. So yes, come to Printify and in the catalog menu under home and living category, open up their candles, then scroll through and browse their candles. Then once you've picked a candle, select to design the print for it. And in the product editor, open up the information tab and come to the print size area. And that's it. We've got the information that we need. So now we can move on to step four, which is this. We can now piggyback off of Canvas pre-installed candle stickers to create our own. Yes, because you see, inside of Canva, if we do a search for candle sticker labels, you'll see that there are a huge amount of templates that have already been created within Canva. And we're allowed to use these templates as a base for creating our own designs that we will resell onto products. So you don't have to, you can just choose to make your own sticker from scratch, of course, if you want. But if you do decide to use a template, I recommend picking one that is roughly similar in shape to the label on the candle that you picked earlier. But yes, either way, if you do decide to pick one, click to customize the template. Then once loaded up, select the option to resize it. Now, you might have noticed that this button has a crown icon next to it. And so if you see this when you're using Canva, what this means is that it's a feature that requires a Canva Pro account to use. So if you don't have a Pro account, I'll have an affiliate link in the description to where you can sign up for a free 30 day trial account to access it for free. But yes, once selected, click custom size and then type in the print size area dimensions you got in step three. Now Canva will resize the label to match your dimensions. It will use this AI to resize elements, which you can then change and modify if you like. So for me, I resize the box to better match my new sticker size. Then after that, you can come and make changes to it. So for me, I picked a new background color and I switched up the different text boxes. So I deleted some and moved others around to match the aesthetic that I wanted. Then after that, I came back to the Printify candle listing and found important information, such as how big the candle is, and I added the information to the label, 
And just for reference, each ounce usually adds about five hours of burning time. So a four ounce candle usually burns for about 20 hours. Then next I came to add in my slogan. So first of all, for the first part of the slogan, I decided to choose a new font. And the thing is, is that while Canva does have a lot of fonts to choose from that are already included, there are actually quite a few popular fonts that a lot of top selling print on demand candles use, which by default are not included in Canva. Nope. Instead, a trick that is good to know about is that a lot of people get extra fonts for free from this website here, Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica, if you haven't heard of it before, is a place where creatives can sell crafty digital goods that they create like image packs, print on demand prints, and importantly, fonts. The fonts are genuinely quite stunning. So even though Canva has a lot of fonts by default included, lots of the top selling candles still use fonts from here. So it's optional, but for me, if I'm making a text-based design, I like to check Creative Fabrica in case it has an even better font that I could use. For example, take the popular Vancouver font. I'm pretty certain that I've seen several top selling candles use this font. Now, Usually it costs $30 to buy this font. But as I said, you can get it for free. If you sign up for a trial account with Creative Fabrica, you can get 10 free downloads. So if you'd like a link to this, I'll include my affiliate link in the description below. Then once logged in, select to download your font. You can now download it directly onto your computer for free. And yes, that does include the commercial license. And yes, it only counts as one of your 10 free downloads. And so if you'd like to go ahead and download another nine fonts, you can do that. But yes, either way, once it's downloaded, you'll find it as a zipped file on your computer. You can right click it and select to unzip it. Inside the unzipped folder, you'll find the font file. Some fonts like this one come in two different file types. You can use either one that you like. Then come back to Canva, click on your text, click font and select to add a new font and then find your font file. Again, either of these two is fine. Upload it and confirm that you're allowed to use it. And that's it. You can now find the font installed in your Canva account. And so you can go ahead and change your font for your slogan to be this new font. So yes, after that, I went ahead and finished up my sticker design. I changed up the sizing and I used Canva's text spacing tool to reduce the spacing between the lines of text and also to reduce the spacing between the letters. And I added in the second half of my slogan that ChatGPT had come up for me. And I changed it to my Creative Fabrica font. And I also changed up the spacing and sizing for that too. And then after playing around a bit more with the element spacing, that was it. I'd finished my sticker. But yes, once you've finished creating your sticker, come and click share and then come and click download. Now for label prints like this, I like to have it set to PNG and I like to increase the file size as much as I can so that when it gets compressed down by Printify, it will print in high resolution. And for this type of print, you probably want to make sure that the transparent background is unticked. That way your sticker will print in whatever background color that you chose. And then after that, you just click download and that's it. We can now move on to the next step, which is step five. We're now gonna upload our AI generated sticker onto our Printify candle to sell for a profit. Yes, so come back to Printify. And if you haven't got an account yet, sign up for a free account. Then come back and open up your candle you picked before and click to start designing it. Then next, upload the sticker that you created onto your candle. And then that's it. So now you can go ahead and click preview and you'll be able to see what your sticker label looks like when it's printed onto your candle. However, we're not quite yet done. Nope, because there is a very important trick that I need to show you. Yep, you see some candles like this one I'm creating here come in different variations and sizes. So if we select variants and open up the size tab, you'll see that there is a four ounce candle and a nine ounce candle. And it's usually a good idea to sell both if you can. So select it. When you do, you'll see the printing area size for it has changed. So open up the information tab and check to see what the new printing size area is. Then with Printify still open, come back to Canva in a new internet browser window. Click to resize your canvas, select custom sizing and input the new print size area. But this time select to copy and resize your project instead of resizing the current one and open up your new project. Now with this copy, resize and drag and drop each of your elements to match the new sticker size and shape and update any text like, for example, changing the ounce number and then save this as a new PNG file. Then come back to your Printify product editor and again open up the variations tab. Select the nine ounce candle and select to create a specific design for it. Now under layers, delete the image and then upload the new label that you just created for this bigger candle. 
And that's it. You can now move on to the second part of the product editor and add in a title and description and set your product price. And when selecting this, you can take a look at whatever website you plan to sell your candles on, whether that is Etsy or eBay or on Amazon, and see how much people are charging for the candles on there. And so after that, we can move on to the next step. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, me. Yes, so as you may have heard, there was recently a big scandal where a major YouTube sponsor, Honey, turned out to be super shady. Which is exactly why, as my longtime subscribers know, I am always super, super careful about taking sponsorships because I don't want anybody to get scammed by shady YouTube sponsors. So you know what, I've just decided to again skip it this video and just sponsor it myself to let you know that if you would like to download a copy of my free print on demand ebook, The Six Steps at Six Figure Online Stores Follow to make over $10,000 a month, you will find a link to download a copy of my free ebook in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video. And so then it's on to step six. We're gonna go ahead and create our new store to sell our candles in. Yes, because you see, here's the thing, right? Printify has lots of online marketplace websites that have direct integrations with it. They let you sell products directly on them. And so out of these, absolutely, the most popular three marketplaces to sell on are Etsy and eBay, and increasingly Amazon. So for example, for me, my personal favorite out of these three is Etsy, which is why on this channel, I have a free video tutorial which shows step-by-step -step how to set up a free Etsy Printify store. So I'll have a link to this tutorial in the video description below. But really, it's a pretty simple process. You probably don't even need to watch the tutorial on Etsy, just select to open up a new store. Then follow the step-by-step -step process of filling in your store info, like choosing your name and settings, it takes less than 30 minutes. Then come over to Printify and log into your account. And within your Printify account, select to connect it to your Etsy account. And now you can publish print on demand products like t-shirts and candles into it. So that's the Etsy method. But as I said, you can sell on other marketplaces as well. So if you're interested in selling them on eBay, Printify has a step-by-step -step guide, which I'll link to in the video description below. Or if instead you'd like to list and sell candles on Amazon, Printify also has a step-by-step -step guide specific to Amazon. And again, if you'd like to check this out, I'll also include a link to this in the description below. And then it's on to the next step. We're gonna list our candles to drive free search engine traffic to our underrated niches. Yes, because a super common question people ask me is they go, okay, Sarah, you've shown me how to make a product and sell it, but how do I get traffic and sales to it? And that's a good question. And well, remember how earlier I showed you that if we do a search on Etsy for say handball candles, that we will only get a handful of results that are actually related to this niche? Well, this is why it is advantageous to target niches like this. Because remember, there are over 30 million registered players for handball, so it is a moderately popular sport. But because it isn't as popular as say pickleball or golf, Lots of people forget about it. And so most people try and make products like gifts to target the bigger niches. And in the process, they completely forget about moderately popular niches, making them underrated relative to their moderate popularity. Which is great for us because look, as there were only five handball related candles on the search results, Etsy quickly ran out of results to show us and they had to just start showing us random unrelated results of random gifts. So, if we go in and make a candle related to this niche, we won't have to fight for a top spot in the search result. Instead, we can rank fast because Etsy needs more listings to show people. And so targeting underrated niches like this is a big traffic hack that I use to get traffic and sales to my own print on demand listings. So then if you'd like to learn more about how I earn passive income every day selling print on demand products, be sure to check out my next video here on screen and I'll see you in the next video.